Hey everyone, Vro here with another 3D tutorial on the pop top. Uh, this is a very, very fun maneuver, very violent maneuver. Uh, this maneuver, you're definitely going to want to pick your plane accordingly, make sure it's very strong, it can withstand very high G forces. Um, this is a lot like a blender, so if your plane can withstand a blender, it should be able to withstand the G forces of this. To make uh, a simple version of the pop top, this pop top is basically a reverse blender. What I mean by this is all the principles are the same. It relies on speed, angle of attack, and very high throws. The difference is going to be the fact that it's going to be going straight vertical, straight up, instead of a blender going straight down, but the stick movements are going to be the same. So I'm going to take off here and show you exactly what it is. I'm going to, I'm going to do an inverted pop top first. There's two ways you could do this, inverted or upright. I'm going to do inverted first. So we're going to go, push up, and do our blender. Add throttle, and roll out. Now let's go again. Go over here, and um, do it uh, up upright. So we're going to come down, push the nose up, roll, blender, roll out. So you can do it two different ways. Uh, there's a common misconception that the stick movements for inverted and upright are going to be different. Uh, this is not completely true. Uh, yes, to make it a faster blender, they're going to be different. But if you want to learn uh, inverted and upright, they're going to be the same. So I'm going to do the inverted. Okay. And now I'm going to do upright. I'm going to use the exact same movements. Okay, so there, I mean, you can use the same movements. The reason for this is because when you go vertical and you rotate, you're really rotating to the exact same orientation. So it's really the same exact maneuver, upright and inverted. The difference is going to be when you're inverted, you're going to rotate one full turn before giving the input as to when you're upright, it's going to be one half a turn. That's, that's going to be the only difference. So we're going to work on that. So I'm going to do it one more time. Talk about exactly what it uses. The principles in this are going to be, like I said, momentum. So when you enter it, you're going to want to come on a downline. Get some speed. And then roll out however you want. Uh, you can go Harrier, Knife Edge, Inverted Harrier. It doesn't really matter. This maneuver is so versatile that you can really build it off what you're going to do next. Now let's talk about a way to uh, learn how to do this. A good way of learning is to minimize other controls. So for beginning purposes, uh, let's get rid of the downline and let's get rid of that instant stick movement when you push the nose up. So right now we're just going to go straight up, full throttle, gives, us, gives our brain a little bit of time, we're going to roll left and blender. Now, it's not going to blender very hard just because you don't have that momentum. However, it is going to train your brain to recognize when you want to do it, and it's going to do the stick movements automatically. So same thing, going to go up, give that little time, roll to the left, blender, and roll out. So practice that. It's going to be a lot easier to learn when you, you get rid of the stress of trying to do everything at once. Just try to minimize uh, the controls and what you're trying to do. When you get good at that, then you can bring down the downline. Have that downline come down. Give it a second and roll. And it still looks when you have that momentum, you can give it, you can still give it a second. It still looks very very nice. And when you get used to that, you can almost do it instantaneous. Come down, push up, and then you get the full roll. Your, your brain will recognize that 90 degree and go, oh, I need to do this now. It'll be pretty uh, automatic for you. Now, we're going to do it one more time, and then we're going to implement some slow motion, and then we're going to go to the inverted stick movements. So we're going to come down. Alright, so now we're just going to implement some slow motion. 
All right, so here we go again. This we're gonna do the slow motion. We're coming down on the down line, full throttle, gaining the speed. In a second, we're just we're gonna point that nose up. Here we go, full 90. Roll to the left. Implement our blender. As soon as it starts to slow down and die, we're gonna center the aileron and rudder, add throttle, and fly out. All right, so now that we worked on the upright pop top, we're now gonna work on the inverted pop top. Like I said before, the stick movements are technically different. They don't have to be if you wanna learn it very fast, but if you wanna learn the correct inverted pop top, we're gonna work on the stick movements for that. Principles stay the same. We're gonna come down on a down line, get that 90 degree, and blender. Add throttle, recover, uh, just a nice little Harrier. Recovering is going to be uh, a mix between opposite aileron and opposite rudder killing the uh, rotating motion, just like a blender or a flat spin, and then adding throttle since you're in a stalled manner. So we're going to come back in, add that throttle, and roll out of it. So I'm now going to add some slow motion. All right, so just like last time, here comes a slow motion. Same thing, we're gonna come down on that down line. Gonna push the nose up, get that 90, roll, implement the snap of the blender, center of the aileron, rudder, and then add throttle, fly out. All right, so now let's talk about things not to do. Uh, things not to do, the, the two biggest things in this maneuver is gonna be the momentum and the 90 degrees. If you're at like 60 degrees or maybe 110, it's not gonna look very good. So if I go here and then do the blender, it's gonna look like a tumble almost. It's, it's not gonna look very nice. The pop top is named after a bottle cap getting popped off and it's spinning in the air. That's the same idea. So you don't want the plane to be going forward. You want to be staying spinning stationary in the air. That's why we need the 90 degrees. Now if I go too far and make almost like a half loop, it's going to do the same thing. It's just not going to look right. So those are the two biggest mistakes that I see. Keep that 90 degrees. Even if you don't get the stick movements right, it, it's still going to look nice. See, I did the wrong stick movements and I landed inverted, but it still looked nice. So keep that 90 degrees. Keep that momentum. And I guarantee you that first pop top you do is going to be fantastic. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching all my videos. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. Make some requests. Till then, this is Voro signing off. Have fun flying.